welcome 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 thank you so much for clicking on this video i am nastasia thomas and this tutorial is a part one of a three-part video and at the end of this particular video which is wig construction you should be able to securely sew on your lace closure and bundles the right way okay so things you need you need your lace closure i got the 16 inch 4x4 lace closure along with three bundles of 14, 16, 18 inches from Bew Diva official store of AliExpress. I got my wig cap. I got the mesh one from Amazon. Needle and thread. I'm using the canvas block head. You also need wig clips or wig combs. Measuring tape is optional if you don't have the canvas head, but you can use that for precise measurements. You will also need Taylor's Chark, but you can substitute that for eyeliner pencil, any bright color, uh, white preferably, red, bright red, bright orange, bright blues. You will need a scissors. So the first stage that we're going to take on is the construction aspect, which is where we will sew the closure in place and then sew in the bundles. Before sewing on the closure, you will have to pin it in place just so that it is center or if you need a side part, it's at the side, which is where you want it. I always wear, if I'm wearing a closure, I always wear a center part. I just don't feel like the side part fit me. It's a personal thing. Don't worry about it. Okay, so with the bundles, I always sew from the longest one to the shortest one. I have three bundles, 18, 16, and 14. So I'll put the 18, 16, and 14. So that is what I will do for the construction aspect of it. And as you can see, I've already used my T-pins to pin the closure in place. When sewing on the closure to the wig cap, you will have to start from the center back of the closure. You can either start going to the left, sew to the left, or sew to the right. This is where I'm sewing to the right. After I finish the right side, then I'll do the left side. To be more secure, at the ending, you can knot the thread multiple times or you can stitch in reverse. This will definitely prevent the lace from lifting off the wig. Okay, so now I'm using the Taylor's chart. Remember, you can use your eyeliner pencil and anything that you have that can mark the line and just to give you a bit of a guideline as to where to put the tracks. Okay, so I normally start at the top, the closest part to the closure because that is most important. You want to put your track in a particular way that it doesn't show after you cover the tracks with your closure. So just excuse the crooked lines if you can. I know it probably bother a lot of people, but just excuse that. So I have all the lines I need. I'm going to start off with the 18 inches. I'm going to double the tracks just so that it can be fuller and thicker in the back. I'm also going to be using the ivy flip over method. The first stitch that I'm doing, I'll be doing it multiple times just to secure the width onto the wig. Then I'll just continue sewing onto the lines that I did, that I made with the Taylor's chart that you can also make with your eyeliner pencil. So we're now approaching the flip over method and I just want you to look and see what I did right there. Separate the weft, sew the bottom track, and then flipped it over. And when I reach the part where the top track ended, then I will pull it together and add it back to the bottom one that I just flipped over.
So now I'm sewing on the last few tracks at the top, but I'm not sure if you can see properly, so I'm going to show you from another angle. This is all I have left of all the three bundles. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a small part of it that matches the space that I have left on the wig cap and I'm going to sew it as close as possible to the lace. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the construction phase. Remember, it's a three part video. So please go on to the second part of it, which is support that will show you how to safely secure your wigs using wig clips and elastic band. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please feel free to like, comment and share.